Senior lawyer Tansri Muhammad Shafi Abdullah will know on October 28 if he will be free or ordered to defend himself against charges of money laundering involving 9.5 million ringgit allegedly received from Tato Sri Najib Razak and making false declarations to the Inland Revenue Board LHDN. High Court Judge Tato Muhammad Jamil Hussein set the date after both parties made their submissions at the end of the prosecution case on Thursday. On May 12, the prosecution closed its case after calling eight witnesses in the trial, which began on May 21 last year. On September 13, 2018, Muhammad Shafi pleaded not guilty to receiving proceeds from unlawful activity via cheques issued by Najib, which were remitted into Muhammad Shafi's CIMB Bank Berhad account. He allegedly received a cheque for 4.3 million ringgit on September 13, 2013, and another one for 5.2 million ringgit on February 17, 2014, at CIMB Bank Berhad in Taman Tunggu, Bukit Tunggu. The charges under the Anti-Money Laundering and Anti-Terrorism Financing and Proceeds of Unlawful Activities Act 2001 carry a fine not exceeding 5 million ringgit or up to 5 years jail or both upon conviction. Muhammad Shafi is also charged with two counts of engaging in transactions resulting from illegal activities, namely submitting incorrect tax returns, which is in violation of the Income Tax Act 1967 for the financial years ending December 31, 2013 and December 31, 2014. He allegedly committed the offences at LHDN's Jalan Tuta branch in March and June in 2015. For this, Muhammad Shafi is liable to be jailed for a maximum of 15 years and fined not less than five times the amount of proceeds from the unlawful activity if convicted.